If your Fronius Gen 24 inverter has disconnected from the internet for any reason, you'll want to reconnect it so you can see the monitoring in SolarWeb and so you get alerts if something is wrong with your solar. I'm Mark from MC Electrical in Brisbane. This is part of my Know Your Solar series designed to help answer the most common questions we get from customers after their solar is installed. Now, if your internet modem has a WPS button, then this process should be super simple. And that's what I'll explain in this video. If your modem doesn't have a WPS button or if it doesn't work for some random reason, I've left a link to another method at the end of this video. A WPS button is usually a tiny press button on the back of your Wi-Fi modem and it'll be labeled WPS or Wi-Fi or it'll have an image with these two arrows in a circle. On most modems, you'll need to press and hold that button for about three seconds or so until the WPS lights start flashing on the front of the modem. After you have activated the WPS on your modem, go to your Fronius Gen 24 inverter. Now, if MC Electrical installed your inverter, we may have installed one of our custom-made inverter shields to protect it from the sun. So to open up the shield, just find this quick release pin on one of the four corners and push in the silver button and then pull the pin out at the same time. If your inverter has lost connection to the internet, the right hand light is usually solid red. Our aim is to make it solid blue. So you see the spot here? It's an optical sensor that works as a button. So to activate WPS on the inverter, give it two slow taps, not too quickly. And now the lights will start flashing. If the right side light flashes green, then it is trying to connect to your internet. So just give it 30 seconds max. Before it connects, it'll first turn solid red for a few seconds, and then it'll turn solid blue. Your inverter should be online and be connected to SolarWeb. Now just wait a few minutes and refresh your SolarWeb browser a few times. As long as you've been holding your tongue the right way, you should be connected to SolarWeb. Now, I'm actually not sure how often WPS works on inverters. And so you can let me know in the comments below if this video was helpful or if I just wasted three minutes of your life. Uh, and if the WPS method doesn't work the first time, you could try turning your inverter fully off and on again, uh, and then try again. This video here has the correct procedure for turning on and off your Gen 24 inverter. But if it still does not work, or if you don't have a WPS button, check out this video for another method for connecting your Fronius Gen 24 inverter to Wi-Fi. I'm Mark from MC Electrical. Before you head off, give me a thumbs up and I'll catch you next time.